to Fast Break Friday. Welcome back to part two of this edition of Fast Break Friday. Let's get the highlights rolling. Ladies first, of course, Elmont taking on Frankenmove. Both of the teams already have 14 wins or more this season. The Eagles bring the defense in, allowing Izzy Berthel open in the corner as she splashes in the three with a big smile after. Grace Mellinger sees Elena. She squeezes through and gets the layup to go off the glass in for the Panthers. Ben Fragmo brings the pressure along Claire Conzelman to get the steal. She takes it all the way up court for the basket. The Eagles dominate in this one, winning 58 to 18 and clenching their fourth Tri-Valley Conference Championship. Now over to another great matchup. Two double-digit win teams facing off. Garber hosting John Glenn. Ella Betzold gets the rebound for the Dukes. Looks up court, finding Sierra Kelly, who puts it up and in for the basket. Garber putting the pressure, though, on the Bobcats. Olivia Kuhn is left wide open for three. Gets some help with the backboard. They got go that one to go in. Dukes driving into the paint. Kick it out to Aubrey Ball. Nothing but net there. Garber is going to pick up the victory, 58-51. Well, now let's transition to boys basketball. Mount Pleasant traveling to take on Carmen Ainsworth, 10 and 9, meeting up with 11 and 9. The Oilers Easton Day get a jump through the defense and find Logan Brodachuk, who slams it for two. Cavs not looking to be one up. Look at Donovan Amlin. He goes up and slams it home. Brodachuk going to dish it off to Clay Molly New in the corner. He splashes home the triple. Mark Quinn Weston would find a line and step through it, gets to the basket and finishes the layup. Unfortunately, though, a final score wasn't reported. Michigan Luton Seminary looks to get their 10th win tonight, taking on a tough Millington squad. Johnny Crump the fourth gets a chance in the corner and he hits the triple for Millington. And Crump trying to run the baseline here, but Luton Seminary forces a turnover and Thomas Lutzel is the first one down court and he drops it in for two. Then Millington moves the ball around and here's Crump again from downtown. He catches in on another three. This game would come down to the wire, but Millington hangs on to win it 58 to 56. All right, now over to another matchup, a matchup of two 14 and five squads, Lake Fenton on the road taking on Goodrich. So records are identical. Something had to give in this one. So the Martians gonna give it to Landon Williams who gets the offensive board, goes back up and puts the shot in for two. Now Aspen Hunter hands this one off to Brandon Bosert. He goes up and he's gonna drop in the pretty layup for the Blue Devils. Jason Lapla now finding Landon Williams, drives in, goes over a defender, the ball rolls in for the bucket. Goodrich keeps it going. Carson Rayther from open three-point range drains it. The Martians pull away to win 75 to 43. Now to another game that started with identical records. Bullet Creek and Stanis Sterling both sit at 11 and 7. Brock Bartlett going to drive, get the defender, get some room, and then buries the mid-range jumper. Nothing was stopping Zang Swartz. Look at him powering his way to the basket. Stanis Sterling continues going forward. They find Kaysen Wendell. He gets it to go. Bullet Creek's Ryan Long responds. Drive in, stops, spins, and then gets it to drop as the Lancers hold on to the tight one. 43-42. Last but certainly not least, Novell Catholic Central hosting Ithaca tonight. The Yellow Jackets showing off their range early as Bryson LeBaron gets enough room and get put up and drain the triple. The Panthers move up court quickly and Cam Call fakes the shot, slips between two defenders and spins as he gets the layup to go in and the student section was loving it. They also love this. Donnie Yeager with the crossover step back three. He cashes that one in as Novell picks up the win 52 to 36.